What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of New Parents in Training. So, Heidi Eon has sent us a new product, automatic foaming soap dispenser for us to review. So today I'm going to do an unboxing of it and then do some testing as well. So please follow along and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. All right, let's open this. Here is the soap dispenser. It's very simple design. It's white and has a clear container on the bottom. Let's see what else they have in here. User manual. Ah, so they always include this the free gift. So make sure that you uh, you register your your product. And then you can choose any of the items here. And also they have a three year warranty. So just keep that in mind. All right, so some of the feature this soap dispenser has is five centimeter infrared sensing range, 0.25 second fast react time. So it should be dispensing relatively quickly. Eco-friendly ABS material uh, and rich foam and durable motor, easy to change liquid as well. Alright, so this thing does require four AA batteries, so make sure you have batteries handy because this doesn't come with any batteries. So open this up and you just twist the bottom open. Yeah. So the battery tray is over here, so you just have to pry this open. Alright, so we're gonna go fill up the container and do some testing of it. I'll be right back. So we have this foaming dish bottle soap from Baby Ganic. Uh, we use this a lot at home and it, we like this soapy solution quite a bit. It's, uh, it really cleans things well. And we use on all our dishes and also baby products as well. So anyway, let me pour some into the container. Now, one of the things I want to let you know is the opening is quite narrow. So if you don't have a steady hand, you might just spill the liquid out. So I strongly suggest if you have a funnel of some sort that can fit, use that so it won't spill. Um, and also, there is a maximum line for which they not clearly mark, but as being indicated here, you will see a ridge here that's the top where the maximum line is. So just make sure once you fill the dish soap, you don't go over the line. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna pour some in there to start out. I think this is enough. All right, so as you can see, I have the solutions in here and also the top part is on. I have the batteries in there. So. The way you turn it on is they have a on and off button on top. What you do is you press it, you hold it for three seconds, a green light will come up. And the flashing green light means this is on. Goes nothing. Okay, now FYI. Once you have installed this for the first time, you probably have to do a couple try before this pump is able to suck in the soap. So initially, I was keep waving my hand underneath and nothing was coming out. Uh, but after a few tries, uh, the, the soap saw coming out. Okay, so let me show you some of the features. Uh, let's start with the light soap, which is having the thing uh, with green flashing light. So I'm gonna put this underneath. So, all right, this is the light soap. This might get messy here. <laughs> now let's try more foam. Oh, uh, by the way, make sure that when you're using the solution, it has to be foaming solution. 
you don't want to put in a solution that cannot be foamed, such as conditioner or or um, different kind of dish soap that won't foam. Um, so yeah, just make sure that the, the dish soap you are actually using is a foaming type. Anyway, so let me change it to once it touch it again, it turned red. This is the heavier amount or large amount of foam. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, this is actually way more. The heavier one does provide you with more. So this is just the automatic machine. Uh, let me also try, I'll maybe get it the manual pump to see how much this actually come out. So this one is, I just, usually what I do is I do one pump for whatever it is that I need to clean. So. So there's one pump. It feels like it's in between um, the light and the heavy amount. So to turn off, you press the uh, the on off button for three seconds. The red light will flash, and now it's off. Nothing coming out. All right. So some of the final thoughts about this uh, automatic foam dispenser is that. Uh, some of the things we really like, obviously, this is automatically, especially now with the pandemic. Every time we come home, uh, we don't want to touch anything. So this will come in handy. Uh, first, we just go our hand under and then get our hands uh, soapy before we're washing our hands. So this is a great way of you know, not touching anything. Uh, another thing is, this thing is actually pretty sleek. So it will be a great addition to our kitchen area and also the container is clear, so you can see how much you have left uh, before you need to refill the, the container with soapy water. So there are some areas that could be for improvement. Um, so there's a couple of areas that, uh, for one thing, the container, as you see earlier, uh, the opening is quite narrow. So it's very easy for someone with unsteady hand to spill the solution outside the container then you have to wash it then you have to wipe it so it might make a mess to compact that you need to have a funnel that way it will be easier to pour the solution in there another thing is that this thing does require batteries uh, it requires four double a batteries so it use up quite a bit um, but according to the instruction it's supposed to last three to four months on the regular usage so um, we haven't gone that long yet but we'll see uh, last thing I want to mention is that uh, just like any other soap dispenser, uh, you might get some residual every time a pump uh, left on toward the tip of the dispenser. So over time, that might, that might get a buildup of uh, dry soap if you don't use it frequently enough. I strongly suggest you wipe that part uh, every now and then uh, to keep that portion uh, free of any debris so overall we really like this product and so i will put the product info in the description down below you can go check it out as well so this is a review of the automatic foam dispenser and if you have any questions put it down in the comment section below until next time bye